we're gonna show you how to assemble IKEA best TV bench. This is the one here with the white doors. Let's do it. And here is what you're getting with this IKEA Besta TV bench. One box, four shelves, two doors, adjustable wooden legs, four of them, so two boxes, two set of hinges. And in the box, you will get manual instructions, which you're not going to need if you're going to follow this video. And this is all the panels, which you're going to need later. I'm just going to open everything up so you can see better how much stuff is there in the box. One box with the, all the screws, legs and uh, everything you need for the assembly. This is the original legs, they're coming out first. We're not going to use them, but if you don't go with the extra uh, wooden legs, you can use them. One pack of screws and locks and everything what you need. I like to organize that so I know better what I'm working with. Brackets in an extra bag. Uh, wooden legs. So we have two in each box coming with the screws, the long bracket you're not going to need. By the way, there is going to be more stuff which is going to left because the best I include a lot of screws and plastics for all possible combinations. Here is the support on the middle. We're going to get to it in a moment. And we're going to start with the bottom panel. So in the bottom panel, you're going to get six metal holes on one side and on the other side, there is no metal holes. The part with the metal holes, that's the bottom panel, which we're going to work with first. We're going to have four wooden legs and here we're going to get one screw with a plastic head. That's the adjustable part for the leg, secured it in by hand. On the other side, you have one long screw, which you can just secure with the hand. You don't need screwdriver for this. Let's secure it in. Make sure the plastic part, the adjustable part of the legs are in the same height. This is the adjustable part on the leg, so put them in all four legs in the same height. You're going to have easier time when you're going to adjust the unit on the floor later on. On the other side, the screw without the head, just secure it in. Here you can see on the side, all those plastic parts are in the same height. Here, the support on the middle, that's back part, that's front part. So at the back, we're going to have two holes. The back part is where is the cut. On the front there is one the metal hole at the front already. So at the back there is no pre-drilled holes. That's the part here. So you can measure the middle or you can just slide slide it like this, right on the hole, and you're roughly between the hole on the other side. There is a metal hole, but not pre-drilled holes for those two small screws at the back. So you can have those two small screws at the back, big one at the front. Here, one screw first in on the front. And now we can secure two small screws. There is no pre drilled holes, so just secure two screws right in the middle. So, this is support part for the unit on the middle. So, we got those two screws in, and at the front, the hole is already there, so we just secure the thicker screw at the front. Now, we're gonna have the legs. So, you're gonna have four legs, two on each side. When you're securing those legs, just Twist them when you feel the resistance, just twist it to the end and make sure you have equal gaps on uh, in the corners. That's the key here. You see a nice equal gap on each side. As I mentioned before regarding the brackets and all the screws, you're gonna end up with the with a few extra brackets and extra screws. Don't worry about that. As the best are including all possibility for the a lot of different combinations, so you're gonna probably end up with a few extra screws and extra brackets. So here, nice equal gap on each side. Now we can adjust the leg on the middle. So we're going to go with the exact same height on the middle and on the legs on the each side. So we have easier time once we do the final adjustment at the end. Here we're going to work with the top panel now. So you can just put it on. You're going to need those screws. Uh, that's going to be six of them for the each panel. So this is the top panel inner side. Two screws on one side, two screws on the middle. Go just till the stopper, not deeper or higher, otherwise you're gonna have a problem with uh, locking the side panel and the middle panel. So just secure those two screws on the each side and on the middle. Top panel can go on the side for now, and we're gonna do exactly the same with the bottom panel. Two screws on the side, just till the stopper, not higher or not deeper. Two screws on the middle. And two screws on the other side. We can put that on the side for now and we're going to work with the top panel first. So you're going to have one thick panel that's going to be the middle panel and two smaller panels that's going to be the side panels. 
we're gonna put a thick panel on the side for now we're gonna work with those slimmer panels so that's this is the side panels and here you're gonna have one gap here and one gap at the bottom so we're gonna line up the gaps that's how you position the uh, the parts and place it in those screws which we did previously plastic locks this is the slimmer plastic locks or smaller ones make sure the arrow on the lock is pointing to the bottom now just place the lock in and push it all the way in once you're in twist the lock to the right side secure the connection exactly the same on the other side you're gonna have the gap on the side panel and a gap on the top panel get into those two holes place it in line up the gaps and smaller locks point the arrow to the bottom on each side twist the lock to the right side secure the connection don't go too hard on those locks as they break easily here you're gonna have the middle panel this is a thicker panel so difference is with the line of holes on the sides here we're gonna have l-shaped bracket so this side you see the line of holes on the side so on this side the line of holes is further from the side here the line of holes on the side is closer so we're gonna go on the closer line of the holes and it's gonna be the first and second second holes you have those two screws so the closer line to the side we're gonna place the l-shaped bracket which is gonna secure the unit to the wall if you need and this is the first and second hole from the top now we have the longer locks so we're gonna place L-shaped bracket, gonna go closer to the top panel and we're gonna place the thicker panel in. The bigger locks, arrow pointing to the bottom. Push it all the way in. Twist the lock to the right side to secure the connection. Exactly the same on the other one. Now we're gonna have a back panels. The back panels have uh, openings on uh, side, one smaller and one bigger. On the other side there is a gap the gap gonna go at the back and it's gonna slide into the side panel so there's a gap on the slide panel just slide it in all the way down go easy here because you don't have support on the other side at the moment so just slide it in this way here at the bottom just push it all the way down so you end up in the gap at the bottom and on the side exactly the same on the other side the back panel gonna have an opening bigger at the bottom smaller on the top gap at the back so just slide it into the side panel this way so the gap is at the back at the moment slide it in and push it all the way down to the bottom gap once you're in you're in a good position here you see you're gonna have this open space on the front and this small gap on the side now we're gonna place the bottom panel in so this cut is the back part of the panel so we're gonna put it the other way around so the front is at the front and the back is at the back so the back is where is the cut so that's for the cable management by the way so you're gonna you can, you can push your cable nicely through the unit all the way up if you have a tv on the top so here the key is to push every all the holes in so two holes on the side two holes on the middle and push the back panel into the gap this connection is pretty easy it's gonna just pop in on its own so just the key is just to put the back panels in once you in with the back panel all just gonna pop in nicely so you don't need to put any force or pressure here everything gonna jump in nicely here we're gonna have the smaller locks and the bigger locks the bigger locks are from the for the middle as we know and the smaller locks are for the sides so smaller lock on the side arrow pointing up in this case so it's gonna the opening gonna come nicely on the hole and we twist the lock to the right side on the middle the longer locks place them in arrow on the lock pointing to the top and twist the lock to the right side each lock so we secure the connection on the other side smaller locks exactly the same arrow pointing up and twist the lock to the right side don't go crazy on those locks they are easy, easily to break here put the unit down so we have the back up at the moment we're gonna have those two plastic rails so we just slide them in in the open part at the back of the unit 
slide them in so it's gonna line up nicely with the back panels one on one side and one on the other side just like this all the way up till you reach the end and it's gonna line up nicely with the edges now we're gonna have this small part which is coming between the plastic rails so just push one side in other side in and now when you in just slide it all the way up sometimes the plastic rails they are moving with the with the middle part so just line them up nicely and that's what you're gonna achieve at the end nice closing at the back with the opening for the cable management now we're gonna have those two u-shaped plastics one is slightly bigger one is smaller so the bigger one coming on the top that's have kind of rubber on the middle and this one doesn't have the rubber on the middle you're gonna need four of these screws and secure the bottom one with the two screws the bottom one don't have this kind of uh, opening for the cover so that one is plain but the edge is on the top don't put it the other way around so it's like a nice ending when you're looking from the top and the same on the top the nice edge is on the top covering the hole two screws secure it that's how is it nice cover on the hole and this is the covering plastic just click it in and you can cover the holes nicely that's how it looks at the end now we can put the unit the correct way around so we put the unit on the legs and we're gonna have the doors we're gonna have two doors in this case it's gonna be the white doors in one of the hole hole for the hinges you're gonna get uh, like a plastic plug so i'm gonna explain that in a moment what for it is second door exactly the same the plugs in one of the hole for the hinges you're gonna have the soft closing hinges which is excellent i really like those hinges that small plastic on the hinge is the soft closing and two pop-up mechanism in each bag so here we have one with the one bag and there's gonna be another one place two hinges in and secure it two screws on each hinge the screws are already in the hinge so you don't need to be worried about which screws going where which is good thing you don't have too much work around it and the hinges are great on the other side there is a small rubber plug coming in for a even softer closing while while the door coming to the unit exactly the same for the other door two hinges secure two screws all the way in and the screws are already in the hinge at the side this is the kind of rubber stopper at the end just place that in and now we can secure the doors in so line up the right holes and secure the screws two for each hinge and here is those uh, kind of plastic plugs or rubber plugs i'm not sure they kind of see through there's four extra holes on the doors these doors can be used as a uh, drawers as well so that's why the extra holes just cover the extra holes So here line up the door with the bottom and secure the screws see i'm just holding with one hand and on the hand securing the screws a smaller door you should not have a problem with those closing soft closing nicely at the end now we're gonna have those pop-up mechanisms there's one part plastic one part kind of metal plasticky the longer part then we're gonna have four screws two for each pop-up mechanism so we're gonna join those two parts together you see where is the part where the screws gone is closer to the to the slimmer part of the pop-up so don't put them the other way around otherwise it's not gonna work so just click it on one side and click it at the back click it at the front click it at the back just like this now i'm gonna put them in just right on the top of the door and there was a slightly mistake but i'm gonna go with it just to show you if you're gonna do exactly the same secured with the two screws so here i put them a bit higher because there's gonna be divider but uh, i'm gonna rectify that i'm just gonna go with it so you can you can see on the other side did exactly the same same height 
on the pop-ups and secure it with the two screws. The holes are pre-drilled, so you don't need to be worried. If you put that plastic where the screws go the other way around, you're not gonna be in the right place. So put the plastic, join the pop-up with the plastic this exact same way. So this is adjustable. You can unscrew or screw this pop-up in or out. Once the doors stop closing properly, you can just readjust it, which is a good thing. We're gonna have four shelves. Actually, two of them is gonna be dividing panels and two of them is gonna be shelf. Originally in the box, you have the shelves in the top part of the unit, in the open part. I'm gonna put them in the bottom part as the part is slightly bigger and I think that's gonna work better here. But you can go with the original one if you wanna divide the space more at the, on the top. Here you're gonna have those brackets. You're gonna have L and right mark brackets. So you're gonna have four L, four right brackets, left and right. So here you see I put the pop-up too high. You can do it two ways. You can just put the bracket under and secure it with the screw. But I just decide to go with the lower hole for the pop-ups. Because you're gonna have to put the one screw from under, it's gonna be slightly in a way, so I just didn't wanna bother. But it's gonna, it would work either way. So here, this is the right way, I think. Secure the bracket exactly at the front and on the back. And don't forget the brackets are marked left and right, so go in with the right bracket on each side. So the part on the bracket where is the hole, like a kind of there's this bent part at the front with the hole, that's that part is on the front. Here we have all the brackets in and you can just put the shelf in. In this case, it's gonna be dividing panel. So dividing panel and the shelves, they have exactly the same size, but here you can see the front lining up nicely with the front and there is a slight hole at the back. Once we have this in, we secure four screws, for one for each of the brackets. So here you can see the gap at the back, but it's lining up nicely with the front. For the shelves, you have different plaques, so you don't have those brackets, mark L and R, you have those ones. It's just You just plug them in where you need it. As I mentioned, original one have the shelves on the top, but I put them here so you can divide the bigger space here. But you can do either way. If you have more stuff to put on the on the top, you can you can put those shelves on the top. So here the shelves you see is not lining up at the front, but is lining up at the back. So this is different when you're gonna do the dividing panel or or the shelf. Doors closing nicely, pop up working. So you see when the, you close the door, dividing panel is lining up nicely with the door. So here we have the exact same problem with this one. So I'm just gonna put it one down, and it's gonna be all good. So the brackets in, you're gonna have two on each side. Don't forget to put the right bracket on the right side. We're gonna do exactly the same with the shelves as on the other side. Secure the bracket with one screw. So one screw for each bracket. Same here, two brackets. Secure them with the screw and we put the shelf brackets as well in there. Here I forgot to put the screws in there, so the bracket's going funny. So secure the brackets first. And we can put the shelf, which is gonna be dividing panel in this case, and we can secure it with one screw from under through the bracket to the dividing panel. Now the shelf's coming in. Last thing, we need to adjust the doors slightly. So you have three adjustable screws on these hinges. Those hinges are fantastic. A lot of adjustment, the doors closing nice and soft is a, is a really nice hinge. I like to work with those. So it's plenty adjustment for if the door's going funny. And here is the adjustment screws. You're gonna get three adjustment screws. One here, one here, and one here. So you have plenty of space to do whatever you like with these doors. And L-shaped bracket covered with the plastic here. We're not gonna attach it to the wall as the unit is small here. I keep the washer in, in case one day you're gonna wanna attach it to the wall. Just cover the bracket with the plastic cover. And this is it, IKEA Besta TV Bench. I hope you enjoyed. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. As always, don't forget to check out the review of a few of my thoughts on this um, IKEA Besta TV Bench. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And you can see the end card as well at the end of the video. Thank you for watching, have a fantastic day.